Dear 11 here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my updated collection because I haven't done this in quite some time. I don't, even know, I don't even know if I've done one this year to be honest, it's been quite a while. So yeah, I'll show you guys my collection. First off, this isn't absolutely everything. I do have a lot of base cards still laying around. I have, I've gotten cards I've gotten in person. I have yet to sort. I have some cards. Got from you guys some of the base cards. I need to get like a binder or something for all my uh, Bertuzzi and Heatley cards, but don't really have a spot for them right now. So they're pretty much all over the place. I got to get some proper storage for them, but there's that. Let's start off with probably the most interesting thing, but not my main collection. Basically, this is a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. Yeah, let's have a look. All right, first box. This is the Not My Future Watch Collection box. Pretty much a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. Mainly on this side, it's all miscellaneous stuff. Uh, this side has a, uh, a side collection, I would say. And in the front here, I have stuff I'm thinking about selling, or I am selling. Some of the front cards here I'm probably selling, but most of these here are worth like five bucks or less, so don't really think it's worth it to sell most of these. Um, They're all pretty darn cheap. But beyond that, I have cards I'm actually selling right now. So yeah, these are the cards I'm selling. This is the Red Wings booklet. Hopefully this is secure enough. I am listing it. It is up for auction on eBay right now. These other cards I have up there, like this one right here, I'm probably not going to sell. It's at a high price, and if I don't get a really good offer, I'm going to keep it. Same goes with this one. Not really, not too keen on selling it. And then the rest of them aren't too special other than this one. Uh, it's another card I need to get a good price on. Now on to this part. There's my Kane and Taze Young guns. I'm planning on keeping those probably forever. So there's those. Also got the rookie materials of those, and I'm probably gonna keep them for a long time. And then the next part is my small Carter Hart PC. Definitely not very big right now. I um, only have eight cards of Hart. Got six here. You will be seeing the other ones soon, but right now it's a pretty small collection of him. Debating on getting his Cup RPA. I mean, probably uh, probably wait till the Expo to go after that or go after another card I'm looking for, but yeah, there we go. There's my small Hart PC. Next up is a Niagara Ice Dogs collection. Junior team I follow. Uh, nothing too crazy in here. Just got some miscellaneous stuff. Actually, while I'm at it, Carter Verhege here is one of the rookies I will be collecting in the 1920 season. He actually made the Lightning, so he's gonna have some cards. I will be collecting him so that's cool other than that there's nothing tremendous in here i do have some future watches in here but nothing too crazy yeah i pretty much have like my future watch duplicates of the players in here as well um got all my nadelkovich young guns in here including all the future watches so there's that do have the clear cut young guns there as well and then I got uh, Brennan Perlini here. I got my only two shields of him. Looks like he won't be a Blackhawk much longer. Looks like they're going to part ways soon here. But yeah, so there's those two cards. Those are pretty sweet. And then there's Josh Hosang. Really don't have a whole lot of nice stuff of Hosang, but I do have a few things. I do have the Cup RPA, just one of them. And I do have a handful of Future Watches. I do have the Inscribe, which is in my 1718 Future Watch set. I will be showing that shortly. But yeah, Josh Hosang. All right, now onto this side. It's an absolute mess. I know the front here has some of the nicer heater cards and Todd Bertuzzi cards. So here's some Bertuzzi and Heatley autographs. Those are some of my favorites right there. Very cool. And the rest in here is like rookie cards or cool inserts of those players. But after that, there is a bunch of miscellaneous cards, not really well sorted. There is a random Mary Lemieux rookie right there, though. That's probably the nicest thing in that miscellaneous section. Also has some nice 1819 canvas cards that I've decided to hold on to. And there's some nice older cards, just a few of them. Um, there's quite a few more in there, but there's some of the nicer ones. So there's that. Also some really random miscellaneous young guns. <laughs> Pretty darn random. <laughs> Do have a handful of miscellaneous ones there. There's a few cards you've probably seen in the background before. And yeah, other than that, there's just some miscellaneous cool stuff in there. So now on to the next part. So here's a bunch of miscellaneous autographs I decided to put in here. In the miscellaneous autos, there are quite a few goalies. Just some random ones I've decided to hold on to or I've gotten from you guys. So yeah, there's some miscellaneous goalies. Also in the miscellaneous autos, I have some interesting ones as well. Um, just some random players. We got a couple Brent Burns there, but there's those. So yeah, there's the miscellaneous autos. And at the very end, I got one Premier RPA just sitting there. It kind of doesn't really fit in. I got Drake Batherson, gold RPA. Decided to keep that because it's really cool. But in the back here is miscellaneous cup cards. I actually just showed these recently. There's some miscellaneous cup cards uh, headlined by McDavid there. I did list everything from the tin I opened. I'm trying to save right now, but there's that. So yeah, this card, this card I'm never getting rid of. But yeah, now on to the next box. All right, the next box. Oh, it looks like I got some cards I need to sort. I'm gonna take those out. But here is some of the Future Watch collection. Um, on this side, but first I'll take these out. I'll show those in a bit. This is a 1718 Future Watch set. Going through these, I completely forgot I own this card. It's card number one. I completely forgot I own that. So yeah, here's some of the debatable top rookies from 1718. 
I would honestly say Alex DeBrinkett is the best player from 17 18. That's just my opinion. I think he is. And again, most of these guys we haven't seen the best of, so I guess we'll come back to that in a few years. And I do have some inscribed, a handful there. There's some decent names there. We got Owen Tippett, got that Bjork, got Walmart, Nadelkovich, Hosang. So there's some decent ones in there. Don't have any blacks from 17 18, but do have a handful of inscribes. I guess we're going backwards in order. All right, now onto this side the 16 17 set. The absolutely stack class. And here are the top rookies from 16, 17, and I'm real I basically there's like a whole stack of top rookies in here, but here's some of the noteworthy ones. Here's probably the most valuable card in my collection, the Matthews inscribed. And another one of my most valuable cards is the Marner Black. Also got the Marner inscribed there. I'm only showing six players, but you got guys like Matthew Kachuk, Provorov, Travis Konechny, Zach Wierenski, Kyle Connor, Sebastian Aho, Mikhail Sergachev. Timo Meyer, Thomas Shabbat, Kevin LeBanc, Jakob Vrana, Thatcher Demko. And even then, I'm still missing out on the players. Like, they're still in stroke. 16 17 is just a fantastic crop. Probably the best since 0506. So, yeah, now on to the next part. Oh, and before I uh, continue on here, I do have another black there. It's John Quenville. That's the other black I have. I do have a handful of other inscribes in there. But there's that. There's the thing I use to divide the sets back when I was going for the 16 17 set. Man, freaking Mike Matheson. All right, now on to the 13-14 half set. The other half is in the other box, but this is the autograph portion. Not a single card in a one-touch here. Not saying it's a bad crop, but let me whip out the best rookies. It's not you, frickin' Yakupov. Jeez, look at this Ryan Murphy card. I can't believe how off-center it is. Jeez, it was a redemption. So yeah, here are some of the top rookies from 13-14. Pretty debatable ones on here. Except for McKinnon, he's definitely the best rookie from 13-14. I've got Forsberg in there. I could have put Jonathan Huberto in there. I could have put Seth Jones is another good one in there. But yeah, 13-14, the double rookie class. Has players from 12-13 and 13-14 in it. Produced some pretty solid rookies. So yeah, there's the 13-14 Future Watch set. Here are my only graded cards in my collection. They're all BGS. I've never done any submissions ever for grading. But here are the six. I only got two 9.5s. There's an 8.5 Gensel. There's a 9.5 Sid. Probably my best card in terms of investment right there is this Crosby right here. And got a McDavid 9. So yeah, there's my graded cards. Now on to the main box. Here is the main box. These are all future watches. So these cards right here is the rest of the 13-14 Future Watch set. This is a 60 card non-auto part of the set. There we go. There's some decent names in there. Nothing crazy though. Right here is my very small Future Watch patch collection consisting of only four cards. Um, this is probably the best one here, this Nick Schmaltz. I mean, the rest of them aren't too great. Pretty much these three right here, I didn't think it was worth selling, so I decided to hold on to them. This one, I do like Nick Schmaltz. I think he is quite a good player. And his future watch is a non-auto, so that's the reason why I have that. All right, this part here is miscellaneous non-autographed future watches. Um, dating back to 97, 98, got a Patrick Marlowe there. All right, so here are some of the noteworthy ones. I've um, got a Soros, and i got a couple of Vegas Golden Knights here. Oh, there's some noteworthy <laughs> three in a row. I just realized Sparks is on the Knights too as well. So i got Sparks, Theodore, and Nosek all on the Knights there. But yeah, Marlowe's is probably the biggest name from the miscellaneous non-autos. got Tim Thomas there, Patrick Eliash, Dimitri Orloff, Ryan Reeves, Patrick Sharp, Wayne Simmons, Matthias Ekholm. So there's the miscellaneous Future Watch non-autos. All right, next up here is uh, some doubles I have, I believe. I don't know. Okay, it doesn't go very far. But yeah, there we go. There's some random doubles I have just laying around. Nothing crazy. Other than this one, this one really smells bad. I don't know what somebody did to this poor card, but it just smells bad. <laughs> and then we have the set in progress. Really haven't added to this at all. This is the 1819. I would say these are the only ones really worth showing right now. The Andrei Svechnikov and the two Carter Hearts, including the inscribed. But yeah, very slow going when it comes to me and getting the 1819 set. Next up is miscellaneous Future Watch autos. From 2001 to, to what year is this? To 1213. There's actually some pretty decent ones in here, but I would say the majority aren't too great. But I mean, there are some good names. Like, I just whipped out a Bob right there. So, pretty much any future watch is like under 50 bucks. That's miscellaneous. I'll throw it in here. Again, another good one OEL. Well, it's not all bad. There's some good names in there. Look at that. John Scott future watch. There's some nice stuff in there. Actually, there are some pretty solid ones in here. What am I talking? You got Duchesne and JVR. Another Alex Petrangelo. Then you got some other active players like Brian Boyle, Zach Bogosian, Anton Strawman. I mean, there's quite a few decent names. I don't feel like running through all of them, but there are quite a few solid players in here. Damn. All right, let's move on to the other part of this. 
because I have the 1314 set, it continues at 1415. And I just have some miscellaneous 1415 Future Watch autos. There are some decent names in there. You got Sam Reinhardt, The Hamburglar, Vinny Trocek, Evgeny Kuznetsov, $7 million. First overall pick from that year, Aaron Ekblad. And then I got some 1516 stuff, which most of this stuff doesn't fit in the one touch, which is pretty hostile because there's some one touch worthy stuff in here. Um, not Sam Bennett, but Sam Bennett, that's a decent one. I got that one for 15 bucks way back when. Uh, Victor Arvidsson. Again, I'm trying to take out some of the better ones. I do have some other noteworthy players. I do have some inscribes, but I'm just trying to take out some of the nicer ones. There's D-Boss. Dylan Larkin, which does not fit into one touch, which is annoying because it's definitely one touch worthy. Like, there are some other decent players. There's Linus Allmark, Jake Vertanen. Like, there, he throws it. There's some decent players. And there's another Future Watch Black of Andrew Kopp. Got this for 10 bucks, And I got it inscribed of Kopp's teammate, Nikolai Ehlers. So there's the miscellaneous Future Watches. So now on to one touch worthy Future Watches. So all these cards here, I deem one touch worthy. First one, you got a Marc-Andre Fleury. That's really nice. I'm still tempted to open some more 0304 to get the Bergeron. Don't ask why, but I want a Bergeron future watch. Got a Ryan Getzlaff here. It's not in a one touch, but he's borderline. He might be soon, so he's in that section. Duncan Keith. Phil the Thrill. Congrats on a thousand games of Phil. Hall of Famer in my books. Andre Kopitar. Um, Evgeny Malkin. Jonathan Taze, Patrick Kane, Claude Giroux. There's Drew Doughty. There's John Tavares. There's Eric Carlson, Jamie Benn, Brad Marchand, Taylor Hall, Tyler Sagan, Gabe Landeskog, not in the one touch. I still need a Miko Rantanen, but there's a Gabe Landeskog. He's borderline. His card has gone up quite a bit. You got the Nuge card that's slowly declined. Mark Stone on the Golden Knights now. This card has jumped up. Couple more Morgan Rileys. Another Nathan McKinnon. Got a Leon Dreisaitl. Bo Horvat, new captain of the Vancouver Canucks. Johnny Goudreau. Andre Vasilevsky. And Jack Eichel. So yeah, guys, there's my collection. Definitely plan on adding to that part of the collection. Still need a few big name future watches. And I'm probably looking to add to my Carter Hart collection. So yeah, guys, stay tuned for more breaks to come. And as always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later.